One of the games I've been keeping a keen eye on the past year is Star Wars Outlaws. It's been announced that around, I think, I believe August 30th, um, they will be re actually releasing it. Um, so to be exciting times, 2024 is big. This game looks super exciting. They did release a vertical slice that I kind of want to go over and um, do a, a react and also an analysis as well as um, so that we can see what we can expect based on the gameplay footage that they just revealed. And before we get into it, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Mariah Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's get into the video. At the top, where it should be. Let's go, Nix. That's cool. Hello, everyone. I'm Matthias Carlson, game director at Massive Entertainment. Today, we'll show you a different type of adventure. And as we journey across multiple systems, we will come across many opportunities for escape. What, what I love about this game um since all the footage that we've seen even from last year is the way the npcs are they they fit the environment and they seem like they're actually living you know they're sitting appropriately standing on walls appropriately it, there's nothing um out of the ordinary it feels like a, a, an environment that uh uh people are actually living and and um it seems uh it seems very immersive when i look at it man this is pretty impressive the graphics are beautiful, which you'll see. So let's continue. Scoundrel. In Star Wars Outlaws, one of your motivations for exploration okay. is to find elusive oh, this is experts scattered okay. across the galaxy. These experts will help Kay pick up new skills to survive in the underworld. Okay, okay. So there are a few... Um, it seems like your character will have a few things um like abilities right that they can gain uh due to through i guess uh as you go through the game so there are certain things that you can have right this person probably helps with uh hold on so, so it says here right the bartender right so it says fast fast talk so it gives you it says use take down on distract enemies and then defeat enemies with melee 05 and 03. So to unlock these things, right? To unlock this, it says allow K to quickly react to nearby alert enemies and delay their reaction. Press uh, um, R trigger when prompted to uh, briefly distract the alert enemy. So I guess there will be different people you need to get to, you'll need to work with in order to gain these things, it seems like. You guys are probably not seeing this, but this is this is a different character. Let me let me move myself real quick. Um, right here, right. So it looks like it's it's this guy right here. Let me put myself back down here. All right. So it looks like this guy gives hit gives the K, which is the main character, different abilities based on the kinds of things they unlock with them. So maybe. Um, yeah, so these are abilities, right? So um, it looks like these people are uh, probably mission givers. And as you do missions for them, um, you will be able to unlock these things, right? Missions or actions. It seems like actions, right? So it looks like this one, um, it showed one lock picking, right? So there's certain things you need to do to unlock fast talk, for example. You have to do these things and then you'll unlock that ability through that individual the bartender um, right? so that's pretty cool here we're looking for a gunslinger who can teach us some new tricks our intel points to the moss Eisley cantina on tatooine so let's head back to our ship we're picking up in Accra station a remnant of the clone wars it used to be a refueling station that now acts as a trade hub for illegal contraband. It's a great place to resupply. So beautiful. Merchants are often affiliated with a syndicate, 
and might offer you a special deal if you're in good standing with them. Can I help you? This kind of business attracts all kinds of shipjackers, contract brokers, and corrupt officials. Need your name cleared from the wanted list. Your ship, the Trailblazer, is a refined this, ML 850. This game gives me a lot of Starfield vibes. It's a... Uh... It gives me Starfield vibes in terms of like your ship being the only ship at the spaceport and uh, which makes sense. You're the main character, of course. I kind of like it. I think I think it's pretty cool. The last of its kind. On board, you'll find everything you need to finalize your preparations. Hey, Andy. Hi, Kelly. Akiva Space. Each planet has its own system for you to explore, and many opportunities to make a few credits, which you can choose to engage with. Or yeah, not. so very, very uh, Starfield S, right? So. When you, you, what you'll do is in order to travel around, you'll jump to the planet. And when you jump to a planet, it will have a, like a quadrant of space that you can fly around that has asteroids, similar to what we see in Starfield. And there'll be different things happening at these locations. So there are like uh, different places and different um, events that happen, similar to Starfield. So um yeah it feels a lot like starfield but it's in the star uh star world uh star wars world and um yeah that's what i'm getting from this so far this is k Vess on board the trailblazer i'm coming to help One down. Nice. The combat is all right. The combat is all right. He owes K a ship. In space, your actions also have consequences and can impact your reputation with syndicates. This optional dogfight allowed us to improve our reputation with the Pikes while making a few credits. Spooling up the hyperdrive. Now let's continue our journey and head to Tatooine. <laughs> So this right here is a loading screen. So you're jumping to another system or planet. But what's what's interesting is I never seen the player character select on their map where they're jumping to. So maybe before they started this playthrough, they've already selected where they wanted to go. I hope it's not like already predefined by the game where you're jumping from. Jump into there's got to be a, a map that you can just say, hey, I want to go to this planet because I, I didn't see anything like that. Tatooine space, edge of the galaxy. The tattoo system is in the clutches of the hot cartel. Our reputation with them is poor, so we best be on our way. You see this? So this right here is a loading screen. And this is what um, Starfield should have done with their loading screen. With their landing on planets, right? So... Welcome to legendary Mos Eisley. The infamous hive of scum and villainy. So it appears, it, it appears, um, it appears that the entire planet, this is the only location you can visit on the entire planet. Right, and I'm sure 
there is a map that you could probably walk around on foot at this location, but this is essentially the only location you can visit wherever you try to fly to on that planet. You will load into this location. And, um, yeah. We could head straight to our destination or explore what the city has to offer. Recreating this iconic city is a dream come true for us. I love this. I love this. Thing. Allowing us to show parts the environments are just gorgeous, man. Before. Room for one more? There are many opportunities for a scoundrel, including working your way in with the hot cartel. Most of Tatooine's economy is under their control, even though the increased imperial presence has been hurting their business. But first, we need to pick up the trail of our expert gunslinger. The best place to start is the cantina. I mean, the, the performance looked pretty good. I'm not sure the specs, deadly with the blaster, and who used but it's performing well. Our intel leads to All right, so power. like I said, there will be places that you can go on foot, and you can see that they're using a vehicle here, and it seems like they're big enough that you will need a ground vehicle. So that's not bad. I don't mind that. Located Find in pirate the camp. Hills. Traveling to your destination can be an adventure in itself. As you move across scorching dunes and dusty valleys, you'll quickly realize that this lawless desert planet still So like, is this a loading screen? As you move across Like this, is this a loading screen? Once you boost it here. Is that a loading screen? Scorching dunes to get to another part of the map? You'll quickly realize so it's not it's not fully seamless still holds many when you're on planet side. Is it? We've reached our destination. We need to locate our storehouse and find our way into this heavily guarded fortress without triggering the alarm. Busy place. data pad or something that can tell me who that old gunslinger is. Do you sense anyone close? That's pretty cool. Sutta. Oh, you see that uh, they lost reputation with the hut. So everything you do, let me get, let me get rid, let me move myself. So you can see that they lost reputation with the hut right there, right there, right. They lost reputation. So that's interesting. So everything you do affects your reputation with the different factions. All right, let's see what we have here. Lock yes, I got it. Wait, Quint, that sheriff from Wayfar used to work for the Huts. I should talk to her. Uh -huh. Oh, come on! We've been spotted, but we now know where to find our gunslinger. Let's get out of here quick. We're in trouble, pal. We 
Combat looks interesting though. That's cool. I like the I like the 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 fact that you can call your your bike to come to you. This is so beautiful, man. There we are. You again. If you're still looking for Haas, I haven't seen him. Actually, I'm here for you. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best. Now is not a good time. The huts are coming, and I need to get ready. Get your blaster out. What we have just shown you is the beginning of one of the many adventures you can go on in Star Wars Outlaws. Whether you want to learn new blaster skills, upgrade your speeder, or become an unstoppable thief. Finding an expert is always an adventure in a galaxy full of opportunities. We should keep moving. All right, so my thoughts on this is pretty cool. I like it. Um, it. It seems like a game that you can play single player that's open world and you can actually live in the Star Wars universe. This will probably be my first official Star Wars game to get into. Um, I, I myself haven't really um, watched all the Star Wars movies. I've seen a few, but I don't fully um, have a, a full scope of the Star Wars Star Wars universe but um, this game looks intriguing enough for me to just get involved and give it a shot it's gonna be pretty cool to be able to have an open world and live the way you want to live as an outlaw and um, you can you can um, have different aims or different ambitions um, you know so that's gonna be pretty cool what impresses me with with this um when i when i think about how starfield launched starfield the way starfield went um in a direction where they weren't trying to reveal the fact that flying down to planets and and navigating from location to location was was um was seamless they, they gave us that feeling that it was probably seamless but even though we had an inkling that it probably wasn't um, but these guys, they revealed everything. They showed us everything through this uh, vertical slice right here that there are transition points, um, even when you're on planet side and there are transition points even from space into um, into planets, planetary locations. So um, they've set our expectation in, in terms of that. So with that expectation, I think um, I like what I see. I like it. It is what it is. It's 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 uh they 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 revealed the entire hand and it looks like an interesting adventure to get into so um i like it you guys let me know do you guys like this uh don't forget to leave a like subscribe catch you guys on the next one take care